I'm the man, I got plans Fit the bourbon in my hand That'll make it change the stance I'm like, in advance And I rarely have a chance Rather mitigate the risk Keep my eye up on them bands I'm like, I'm just saying In the land, guess I'm back in high demand In my car ain't from Japan But I drive it like I ran from the cops I'm like, damn, seen you tweaking on the gram I can never understand How you claim to be a man Cause you not I'm like, cause you less A What's poppin' boxing heads? It's your boy Pool Kinda Boxing coming at you with another boxing video for the boxing heads and the boxing minds. Oh yeah, the Earl Smith Jr. is right back in the gym and he's right back at it trying to perfect his boxing art, getting into his craft. His friend Marvis Jarvis here helping him out, get, get all the chinks out of his armor and also, Terrence Crawford is back in the gym. This is, an, a, this is an a testament to the respect both of these guys have for each other. They're both in the gym trying to get ahead, trying to get that edge. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make sure they are the best version of themselves. You know what I'm saying? Iron sharpening iron. You know what I'm saying? The threat of defeat is right there because these two are the best of the best in the welterweight division they know how tough the other each other are you know what i'm saying nobody wants to lose it's only could be one winner you know what i'm saying and it's got to be a loser somebody got to lose and aerosmith jr is in the gym terence crawford is in the gym and this fight it's gonna be historical. You know, your grandchildren, your children gonna be asking where you were when Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford threw down in the ring for the best fight in 15 years. This fight is gonna be off the chain, boxing fans. I'm telling you right now, you know what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford is training. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who faced Errol Spence Jr train up to the best of their ability. They train, look at Sean Porter, how he trained when he fought Errol Spence Jr. Everybody wants to come out. They're talking that trash, they're talking that good noise. It's on and popping, y'all. And just look at the handwork of Errol Spence Jr., what he did to Ugas. Just look at that punch. Look at the body work, you know what I'm saying? Look at how Ugas is looking. He's looking like he's in a lot of pain. You know what I'm saying? Ugas did his best. Who was a top world class fighter. And Errol Spence Jr. just went in there. You know what I'm saying? After a 16 month layoff. After a 16 month layoff. And look how he performed. Was he a little rusty? Yeah, he made one mistake. And it could have cost him the fight. But that's why he's in training early trying to make up for lost time. You know, Earl the Truth, Spence Jr., AKA the Big Fish, AKA the Eye Collector. That's what they calling him now because he's collecting up these eyes. Will he get Terrence Crawford eye? That is something we're gonna have to wait and see. You know, Earl Spence Jr. is sharpening his tools. You know what I'm saying? Will we see something different? He's giving us different styles. You know what I'm saying? With Mikey Garcia. You know what I'm saying? He boxed with Sean Porter. You know what I'm saying? He scrapped. You know what I'm saying? What with, with Danny Garcia, he mixed it up. With Ukas, he just banged him out on the inside. What will he bring when he fight Terrence Crawford? You know what I'm saying? And it's all for undisputed on the line to, to find out who is the king of the welterweight division. You know what I'm saying? Derek James says that Terrence Crawford is just a great athlete, you know what I'm saying? He said, but once you deal with his movement and his um, and his and, and his fast hands, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It is the jab that's gonna rule the day. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see what kind of game plan Harrison Jr. is working on. What are they cooking up over here in Dallas? You know what I'm saying? Besides them barbecue ribs. You know what I'm saying? We know they got corn in Nebraska, but what else do they got up there? What else? What is Terrence Crawford cooking up? What 
Is he just going to add more movement? Is he going to try to add more power? Is he going to try to fight on the inside with Earl Spence Jr.? We don't know, bro. That's what made this fight so motherfucking good. So, you know, we're going to have to, you know what I'm saying, put our thinking hats on, our boxing heads hats on, and see so we can put our money on who you think is going to be the best in the ring. You know what I'm saying? So, with them gearing up, with them taking this fight as like the most important fight of their lives, what are we going to get, y'all? Are we going to get a uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, Marvin Hagler, or are we going to get a Marvin Hagler, Tommy Hearns type situation where you just got two of the best just banging it out in the middle of the ring? Or is it going to be a tactical joint? We don't know. That's what makes this fight so god dang exciting, bro. We're going to be pumping it up. We're going to be promoting it. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to Pool Counter Boxing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.